everyone welcome back to another video i've got my flexi hand ready and today we're going to be using some madame glam gel polishes to create a nice floral set um i was inspired by this set of nails which i will leave on the screen here and the name of the nail artist here I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'll just leave it on when I do the editing. <laughs> okay, so the first colour I've got here is called Serena. Um, this is a nice neutral beige kind of colour. I didn't want to do the exact same colours, even though I love the colours that the um, the original original Nail Tech used. But I wanted to do it a little bit different. I say a little bit different, I basically copied it with different colours. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, so this colour is going on the index finger and the ring finger. I'm not doing a thumb because I don't like thumbs. <laughs> um, second coat, Madame Glam Gel Polishes Cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. So this is the second coat I'm going in with now. All the coats that I do uh, on today's set, I do do two coats. Some of them may only need one some of them may need three but if you do put three on make sure they're thin coats not you don't want yeah because you don't want the nail to be thick but the colors i use today i only use two coats of each okay so i'm gonna bung this in the oven for 30 seconds i like that color it's very nice the next one i'm going to be using is the rule maker this is one of their newer colors it's the most amazing bright pink oh my gosh look at that color i love that so this color is going to go on the pinky and the middle finger we're not going to do a lot to these nails i do put some crystals on these ones but other than that they're just going to be basically pink but i mean what look at this color though I mean, what else do you need on this colour nail? It's just delicious. I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, then 30 seconds in the lamp. Then go in with your second coat. I'm so glad it's Friday. Don't you think... I don't know. Those of you who are shielding or how, are still home, which is probably a lot of you because I expect a lot of you are nail techs, um, have you found... The weeks have gone really quickly or is it dragging for you i just i feel like one day it, it just it's just i found it's gone so bloody quick like the kids have been home for nearly 12 weeks i think nearly 12 weeks it's just it's just mental that's like nearly three months anyway when you're done with that pop it into the lamp now i'm going to use lonely boy I can't remember what collection this was from. Um, and I'm using my Natalie Mugridge Nail Sugar Detailer Brush. This is a triple zero fine, ultra fine, sorry, detailer brush. Um, it was in stock, it's now out of stock. They bloody sold out in just under 24 hours. I could not believe it. Um, me and Karen were convinced because this was the second lot of brushes. It was like the first lot of brushes sold out in a week. And um, we thought, oh, these ones will take longer to sell because um, people that would have wanted one would have got one before. Um, and my God, they just, yeah, crazy. But we will, I think we will probably get some more in. We just don't know when yet. So I will have to keep you informed about the brushes. Oh, I can't believe how quickly they went. Um, so anyway, I am drawing on some little leaves. Now these are going to be in the background. These are going to be like... The last thing in the distance if you see what i mean i keep watching to yawn oh, i'm gonna do some more down here i'm only gonna do two little two little leaves and i'm gonna do no i'm gonna do two pairs of leaves and you've got to think about where you want your flowers to go because these are gonna go behind the flowers so you, you're kind of gonna want to know that before you i don't know why i flash cured these with this little torch because I do pop these, I'm sure I pop these in the lamp. Or do I? No, I don't. Um, perfect pink. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my palette because I'm going to make some... Right, now, um, the these, the leaves, the flowers that I'm doing now can be a little bit... Um, they don't have to be perfect. 
and this is just going to be sort of like a background for the white flowers again they don't have to match up in i kind of purposely wanted them to be uh, like i put the, the white flowers over the top of these in a different place i think i'm i don't know if i'm i think i don't know if you, you know what i mean but oh my god totally confusing everyone people outside singing to their phone how lovely <laughs> bless them i don't know why people are outside it's not even like it's a nice day they should stay inside and snuggle up and watch a movie i love movie days oh my gosh but right, i'm gonna do some more petals over this side so this is gonna be like part of the flower And you can do this with, I'm using Madame Glam's gel polish, but you can do this with like gel paint or acrylic paints. Um, if you are using, you don't want to use, if you're using just one brush, you're going to need two separate brushes for your acrylic paints and your gel paints. You don't want to use the same brush with each thing. So I'm just putting like a third petal coming off the nail at the top there. And then I'm going to cure this. I don't know why I do this. Again, I don't know why I do this because I cure it in the lamp. It needs a full cure, a full 30 second cure in an LED lamp. Talk about wasting time, Nats. See, look, why, why did I do that? <laughs> Such a plonker. Okay, now I'm using um, the pink that we used on the, what's it called? The Raw Maker. We're just going to outline the pink flower just to give it a little bit more ugh, not detail but just to add a little bit more color to this nail and i'm going to do the same on the bottom and then i'm going to pop that in the lamp and then we can go in with the white petals or the white flowers There we go so i'm going to pop that into the lamp and i'm using nail Camille's artisan gel paint now to create the the white flowers so i'm putting three dots i'm going to join the dots up and then i'm going to bring the petal into the center of where the flower would be and then i'm just going to bring some of that gel paint down with my brush and I'm going to leave gaps in that petal. So I'm not going to completely fill that in. Just because I want you to be able to see some of that pink through it. And this one is only going to be part of a leaf. Um, sorry, a petal. And then I'm going to do one more down this side here. If you want to, you can bring the outside edge. Like that, that centre dot that we put on. You can make that a, make that a point. I don't do it on this one. I wanted it more rounded than pointed. I'll have to. I'll do these flowers again in another set, actually, um, so I, I can show you what I mean. Because I think these flowers are so easy and they look quite nice. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the top. Again, you don't have to line the white petals up with the pink petals. See here, I am purposely putting it sort of off kilter I don't know what the I don't know what the um they're not aligned oh I don't know what I mean anyway I'll let you watch this bit and I'll get back to you in a second Okay, so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of white, sort of the part of a petal there, just so that it looks like there is something there. <laughs> and then the Artisan Gel Paints Cure, oh my gosh, Cure in the Lamp for 60 seconds. Um, I forgot to put the little, there were, hang on a sec. Okay, I think they finished. <laughs> That's a trouble, we live so close to the park. If people's, people often, dogs often meet other dogs right outside our flat and you can often hear it if they bark at each other. Um, so I forgot to put the little like berries, there were little white berries that I forgot to put on. So I'm just creating the stems and for some reason 
I thought it was a good idea to put the white on afterwards. Um, but you want to put the dots on now. Um, it just makes your life so much easier. I'll explain. I'll ex I'll show you again on the next nail. Um, but pretend I've put the white dots on. To I pretend I've created the berries. Okay. Um, and now we're going over with the velvet matte top coat. So these nails are going to be matted, a matte finish. So I'm just going to do this nail first and then I'll do the other ones afterwards. I just want to finish this nail so I can show you what I mean. Um, so now I'm going to use the glossy top coat and diamond dust from Nail Sugar. This is the most amazing iridescent fine glitter. It just goes with pretty much everything. If you want to place a nail sugar order and you've never bought nail sugar from nail sugar before, Diamond Dust should be one of the ones that you get. It should be one of your staple glitters because you will use it a lot. And what I'm doing is I'm using the non-white top coat on the end of my brush and I'm just gonna outline the white petals on the the white flowers, obviously. And if I had done the white berries like I should have done, I would have put some top coat on top of the berries as well. Now we're not going to cure this, we're going to sprinkle some of the diamond dust glitter onto it, tap off the excess and then pop that into the lamp and then we're going to use a brush to brush off the excess glitter. Okay so I'm going to use the white, this is Madame Glam's perfect white and I'm just going to place this on top of the um the, the nail um so this really should be underneath the top coat it's always best to sugar onto a non-tacky a non-tacky like layer so like now we've done this um i mean it's probably not going to be that bad because there are any little tiny dots but if you put your gel polish on and even if you've done it on a on a tacky top coat um if you had any if you probably find that you might get like little bits of dust and stuff stuck in that tacky layer um even though there probably won't be much showing because it's going to be sugared but it's always best to cure to sugar onto a non tacky layer because then you know that you're not going to get any hairs or any bits of dust um stuck inside that glitter in that tacky layer if you know what i mean so i'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm going to do the other nail. That index finger is going to be exactly the same. But well, it's going to be slightly different because we're going to put the flowers in slightly different places. But here we go. Right. So I have, this is, I've put the little dots on now before I've top coated. So now what I should have done on that first nail was top coated over the berries. You see? You'll see what I mean? So this is what I'm trying to, I'm trying, and I thought I, I was going to edit it all out, but I thought, no, I'll keep it in and I'll try to explain why it's not best to sugar onto a tacky layer because you don't want bits of dust and stuff stuck in it. So we're going over with the velvet matte top coat now. And I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to repeat the process, add in the non-wipe top coat around only the white petals of the white flower this flower doesn't have to be white you could you could have done you could do this really any color but you just want to make sure that your top coat is outlining the petals and then also i'm going to add a little blob of top coat on top of those little um the berries as well so again we're just going to sugar it over the top and then i'm going to tap off the excess and with nails that I've sugared, I like to just over cure slightly just so that I know that the light has got all the way through to that top coat. And then brush off any excess glitter. That nail, I, I made a mess on that nail. Um, it got some dust and stuff stuck to it, this one. So I had to wipe over with some isopropyl alcohol to get the dirt and dust off. And yeah, because it was stuck on that tacky layer. <laughs> which is why it looks like it's matte, but it's not. I've just taken that tacky layer off. Um, I'm now using, what is it? Um, Crystal Totalist Gem Glue from Nelchemy. Um, you can use like a, a dip system base or nail glue. It doesn't have to be a curable gem glue, but I 
quite like the curable gem glue because if you use like the base or the nail glue they air dry so you have to work quite quickly whereas if i use the gem glue it's a it only sets when you put it in the lamp to cure um so you can fart ass about with your crystals until you're happy with them and you know that they're not going to stay where they are until you've actually popped them in the lamp so that's what i like because i'm not very confident with my crystal placement so i like to know that i've got time to fiddle around and once i'm happy with where i've put my crystals i'm going to apply some of the silver micro beads and the reason i look like i keep stopping every now and then is because i have been engrossed in the tv series called killing eve it's on bbc i play it's really good and I'm pretty, I mean, this, this set took me so long to do, but it's because I was watching Killing Eve as well. <laughs> oh dear, I shouldn't watch TV and do nails at the same time. So you can see I'm just putting the micro beads sort of between crystals. It almost looks like when you've got um, a ring, um, if you've got a, uh, like a stone set ring, you've got little claws that come up and hold the diamonds or whatever stone in place it just looks like the crystals on the nail have those little claws holding them in place which is why i quite like it because i used to work with jewelry believe it or not i have a gemology degree not a degree sorry a diploma oh my god could you imagine me with a degree i'm not clever enough i'm not stupid but i'm not clever i'm really not smart but i'm not stupid does that make sense i'm not smart i can't retain information <laughs> Okay, so now I've cured that in a LED, my LED lamp for 60 seconds. I'm now just going to matte top coat the these nails. And you want to, I've said it before all the time I say it, butt the brush up to but not over the crystals, otherwise they will lose their sparkle. So the, silk, the micro beads is obviously fine. Um, you don't have to worry about those. It's just the crystals really. And then I've just done a, another little crystal placement thing on this now i don't actually like it but hey ho it's done now what's done is done um and then i will pop these in the lamp for 30 seconds and then that's the set done you can get 30 percent off madam glam gel polishes using my code natmug30 and you can get 10 percent off nail sugar glitters and stuff using my code natmug10 all in caps but the website is closed over the weekend for maintenance and restocking it will be open again on tuesday just so that you know so put your stuff in your basket over the weekend and then buy it on Tuesday. <laughs> so this is the finished set. I hope you liked them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Have an amazing weekend. And I will see you beautiful lot on Monday. Love you. Bye.